All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Chain League sixth final round number seven. Final round, in it? Yeah, this is um a big one, I reckon. It is. It's Does very first plan for both players. So for right. Plamp, it decides whether he gets an absolutely incredible score on his first Jam League, or just a good one. Yeah, he's currently sitting in 21st and 4-2. They're both Dusk in 4 is uh, in 12th and 4-2, so he's pretty much on top of the 4-2 uh, the gang in terms of Buckholtz. Mm. So uh, yeah, a lot to be determined with he's this match. music power up going. Yeah. And it would seem that Plamp's name has been deleted. Right. Well, oh really? What was this tag before? I don't even remember. It would have just been Plant, bro. I think it was just Plant. We get to see some good old floaty characters floating it out, floating each other. Mm -hmm. Probably getting kills off the top because of how floaty they both are. Yeah. Probably living obscenely far away from ledge. Yeah. Standard floaty things. I know I saw Neek and Plant preparing for the Dark Pit and the Mewtwo earlier. Yeah. And then Plant was considering switching to Plant to. Oh, really? Yeah. So I guess we'll see, depending on how the set goes. Right, right, right. Like, Mewtwo, Sora, I think is a bad matchup for Mewtwo, I think. Bad matchup for Mewtwo? Oh, uh, I could kind of see it. I mean, both of them are like super floaty, right? I don't really know how this matchup goes. It's a bit of an awkward one. Yeah, it feels um, like it'd be really awkward. Because I guess Mewtwo is like very much a glass cannon, but Sora has like the disjoints to deal with it. Yeah. Um, and like the combo games are just sort of like bully Mewtwo around. Exactly. So, yeah, I don't know how this one will go, but. All right, music power up, but we're actually on Battlefield. I yeah. figured we'd be on PS2 or something based on that. Mewtwo. All right, jumping right in. Yeah, this will be oh. all right. The going Sigma for the uh, yeah, pretty much. All right, no, this is gonna be good. I'm really excited for this one actually, because mm. uh, yeah, Plamp is definitely roast to the occasion. So we'll see just how far he can push it in and this uh, final are, round. The stakes are really high for both of them because Dusk. He's been telling me he's worried about his big goals. Oh yeah, because he's copped what he'd consider a relatively easy bracket for his score. Yeah. And like he's very good, but you know, part of it is bracket luck as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, Although getting the win here would put him in a very good spot. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, no, what? No, no. Yeah, okay. There's, there's decent mana drift on the last uh, bit of side B. Yeah, and he rode the platform. That was really smart. Yeah. He probably knew that was safe beforehand. Yeah. I like that as well. I don't know if Play recognizes it, but uh, did opt to stay aerial. Um, so that he didn't have to hit the ground and get hit by that uh, disable setup. Yeah, it's going to be a bit hard for the disable, especially because Sora likes to stay airborne because of how floating yeah. he is. Yeah, exactly right. It takes a while to hit the ground as well. Mm. And then the disable just hits like a wet noodle and does yeah. nothing. I mean, because Sora loves to stay like on the on the ledge, it does give Dusk a lot of time to charge up Shadow Balls and sort of just recollect That's himself. That's enough though, yep. Floaty Disney Boy is definitely dead from that. Yeah. Dust taking an early lead, but see if Clamp can take it back. Going all the way down there, but not gonna find a kill. Zora like exactly does said, have both of them living so long. Yeah, I mean Zora does have a kill throw. Does have a, a wide variety of kill options as well. So definitely could see the stock coming you out could, soon. You could very easily catch Dusk with a Randy up it. Ooh, reflecting the first hit of Thundaga. Yeah. Oh, that the down smash. smash ledge. Beautiful. Really good because it'll avoid most get up attacks. Yeah, it high profiles and has um, intangibility on the first few frames as well. Tries to counter. Ooh, getting a bit trigger happy on them. Yeah, he's playing this uh, this mind game now. He's sort of like shown his card. Yeah. Um, and now Dust can play that sort of level two uh, bait game with the um, charging the shadow ball. Yeah, it's really good because a bad counter. A counter isn't necessarily... I mean, a Reflector-type counter isn't necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. Like Jokers, for example, for characters like me too who have a charge shot-type projectile. Yeah. Because you can very easily bait it, and it's really laggy, and then that actually gives you an advantage. And great back air edge guard. Yeah, and uh, Mewtwo also has a Reflector as well, right? So yeah. if he sees it coming, 
Uh, I mean, not that Sora well, actually Sora, reflects. Sora went reflected. Sora was yeah. deflected backwards. Yeah. So it'll only really be good for like the sword hit that he gets. Yeah. Uh, but even then, you know, for things like uh, we've seen it before, you know, in that first stock, we saw like the reflecting of the Thundaga, Blizzaga, and uh, Fireaga as well. Ooh. Double down smash. He tries to time the get up attack, but not quite. Yeah. Once again, the high profile and invincibility coming through. I like that he was expecting it though, and he was thinking it through, and really good, like just not getting knowledge checked by that below stage Thundaga. Yeah. There and you just go. Catching. Good up smash. Pretty close for most of the set, but doesn't manage to pull it away. Yeah. At times. Yeah, this reversal here was actually pretty huge. Yeah, that was good. Like just sort of. Uh, hitting him out of his aggressive upstage option, and then just um, able well, to follow through with it. Was it really aggressive? Because he sent it towards the blast zone. I think he was stalling. Uh, no, no, no. As in, um, Plamp's aggressive. Oh, like running uh, upstage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think, yeah, it was totally unintentional. I don't think he even wanted that angle, but he was just like, you know, he's already in the blast zone. Might as well turn this into an edge guard. So. And we've got the music counter pick. Makes sense. Yeah. Alright, gonna keep it going, Sora, Mewtwo, I don't think we're gonna see any character swaps here. Mm. I don't think Plamp has played a different character since, um, what, round two, I think? Plus, they both seem very comfortable with these characters this matchup. Yeah. Uh, but Small Battlefield gonna be the pick, gonna get, get rid of that top platform, keep the middle open. Alright. I hate when you, like... You get just knowledge checked by the fact that it move as a multi-hit and you drop shield before the last hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's such an unfortunate thing because it's like, I should have won this interaction and then I just didn't. Yeah. Alright. I'm liking the patient playstyle of Dusk, not trying to overextend on his advantage, especially with like the reversal potential Sora has. Yeah. Like, Blizzaga at a disadvantage. That'll suck. Oh, that was really good, actually. Finding the upbeat off the, the icicle. Good, yeah. Guess that disabled. Yeah, nice. I love that. That was such a good get-up option, because you you could see Plamp was expecting the drop-down fair. Mm -hmm. And then Sean knew he was expecting that. And got that disable on the hasty counter. Yeah. Nice, I like that. Varying up his drift. Um, I love the idea, getting that Nair 2 into uh, potential up B. Good miss tech. And the down smash is going to steal things out. Those Evening down smash is up. doing work. Yeah, he's gotten like three or four stocks from that, from that down smash. Literally all of the stocks this set so far for Plamp have been those down smashes. Yeah. Alright. Um, don't know if you caught it there, but actually missing the counter. Sora's oh, counter only active from the front. So you can hit him behind, it's kind of like King K rule. Oh really? I didn't know that. Yep. So if you can cross him up when he's countering, uh, he'll be completely vulnerable at the back. Oh, oh, really great punish, getting that neutral get up timing. He didn't even catch the neutral get up timing, he got the drop shield. Mm. Such a good time. Dust might actually pull away this time. It's a lot more subtle, but you can tell he's kind of like getting more comfortable in the matchup and adapting to Plamp's tendencies. Yeah. Kind of hard to two frame a teleport, huh? Yeah. Alright. Forward throw, gonna deal some damage. Oh, going. Oh no! Whoa, That's worked. so unfortunate. The um yeah the the auto lock on it was hol holding B unfortunately. Some may call that an SD, dude. What a good get up. <laughs> Some call that an SD that last stock. I call that a good option and the mental game. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Sometimes you can do that honestly. You, um, whether it was intentional or not is up for debate. But it's still like you know, if it was like props to to Dusk because that's really good uh, matchup knowledge as well. Just knowing that like I guess recognition. Knowing that like Plamp might be um, using the homing attack a lot more, because yeah. I think I think he was definitely varying it up, uh, like quite well. 
it just so happened that the one time that he used it off stage, uh, it was for that that bait. Yeah, I mean, it's the mental game as well, right? It's just Sean won the mental game there. Yeah. And you could see that when Sean went for that like back air, Plev's brain just kind of thought, "Huh, I can chase him." And then ended up using side B and just couldn't yeah. get back. It's the double edged sword of big recovery. Yeah. Are they looking for environmental noises? I don't know what they're looking for. We uh, have there you go. Monster Hunter. Stop battle. I have not heard this one. You too. There's a lot of. Music that just hasn't been there. Alright! Finally seeing a character swap here. The Piranha Plant. Yeah. I mean, I get it. Like, Dusk is really adapted to the Sora, so he probably wants to switch it up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, can't say we've seen... I think we've seen maybe, like, two Piranha Plants this season. Uh, I don't know if Horizons played it. He might have. I feel like Horizons then, pulled it out at least uh, once. Especially I know JF... in like the early rounds. Yeah, and then I know JFK pulled it out last oh, week. Oh yeah, true. Uh, and already off to a, a pretty decent start actually. Has the um, yeah. the percent lead. Dusk's really just not respecting plants options at the moment. Yeah. Getting punished for it. Nice, get the super armor on the, uh, the down B there. Hiding in the, the poison cloud as well. Nice, good down smash. But once again, the down smash. Doesn't nice. matter what character he's on. Clamp and his down smashes. Yeah. Even more iconic duo. Oh, beautiful um, hit with the Patui. Okay. Nice. Slowing the recovery as well. Oh my god. Dude, the horizontal range on that um that down B is actually pretty pretty big. Yeah, it's huge. Good teleport. Yeah, into the F to gonna seal out that first stock. A little bit of a hill to climb for Dusk here, but silver lining for him is He's on two, so he gets stage counter pick for the rest of the set. Yeah. Nice, good punish on that dash attack. Up smash gonna kill relatively early. Plant is very, very strong. So much range on the down B as well. It can cover yeah. like half the stage. Yeah, you can tell Dusk is getting a little bit antsy. Mm. Sort of at a bit of a loss, like what to do here. Oh, the tail, yeah, that's so to unfortunate. To be fair, like, you think, oh, he's got Patui, he's got that side B. What, what, it's not that hard. I'll just like jump in on him, knock away the Patui, and then you just get hit and take 20. Yeah, a lot of people don't have like a Piranha Plant. It's a very underrepresented character. Yeah. So when you do have like a proper rep of it come out, you underestimate it a lot, and the, I think Sean is definitely feeling that right now because he's like, hang on, I'm actually like, could lose the game here. Um, Disable not working out. Really timely counter. I think that would have been it if it hit. Yeah, definitely. I'm pretty sure Patui also has more launch power the closer down it is when you like hit it away. Yeah. Like when you blow it away as a plan. Yeah, you sort of like charge it a little bit. Um, yeah, and it's such a good combo breaker as well. Dude, the disrupt. It doesn't seem like it would be a good combo breaker, but... Anything will kill Dusk at this percent. Yeah. Alright, Poison Cloud. Oh. Really good get up timing. Yeah. Narrowly gets through. I mean, not undoable, but a straight hit will kill it. And that's oh, it. Oh, yeah, just like that. Yeah, especially in that last uh, stock, it was um, very noticeable how much work that Patui was doing, especially with all those trades. Yeah. Yeah, you see, he was just trying to get his, like, Kill confirm his combo started and gets him yeah. to lead. Alright. Yeah, Onus is definitely on Sean here to start respecting Plant's options and start figuring out Plant's playstyle. Yeah.
he can be a bit of a rough character, but especially with like Shadow Ball, Mewtwo definitely has the tools to beat him. Mm, yeah. Plus some like fairly decent disjoints. I wonder where we'll go next. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we went to, to PS2 or somewhere, uh, although Plant might have banned that honestly. Um, since like Sora can't really go under the stage, I would assume the bands might be like PS2's um, Kalos and something. Uh, I wouldn't well, know what. Plant, but yeah, those would make sense because I know Plant in a good situation can up be to the other side of the stage from below. Yeah. So Smashville's probably left untouched. Battlefields. Oh, Kalos. Never mind. No bands. I mean, he is playing uh, Plant, so maybe. Not really worried about the the walls Ooh, and how large the stage is. Origin. Nice one. I rate the song. Like when I got to this point in Legends Arceus, I was not ready for this music to go so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially since I don't much care for the original one. Ooh, switching right. back to Sora. Yeah. Um, well, I was gonna say, like you know. Uh, going to Kalos against Piranha Plant, like you get that more space and Mewtwo lives for longer, but so does Plant. Plant's super heavy. But um, yeah, going to. Uh, opting to keep Kalos open when swapping to Sora. Interesting. Then I guess the thought process behind Plant was trying to like, use it as a momentum breaker and then bring it back with Sora. Yeah, yeah. Which is definitely interesting because normally you find a character that wins, you stay on them, but us at JML have been known to not do that. Yep. Okay. But like, I can certainly respect it, because a lot of- sometimes I get the feeling that I win a game with a cap- Whoa! Yeah, that just killed! It barely killed off the top. That suddenly with a very nice lead. Yeah. Although at this level, a couple of combos and a good hit can do it. Ooh, nice. Dude, down tilt combos from Sora always like never fail to look to look nice. I feel like I've tried him and I can't play him, but like his combos look very clean and yep. form when they hit. Yeah, definitely a lot of getting used to. Coming right. out of the Thundaga. Yeah, Thundaga is like it can be good, but it's also it can be very inconsistent. Yeah, the hitbox is so weird. Really good weight there. <laughs> Is that just nice. a nice tool? Yep. Huh. Yeah, I mean, Sora also has just a lot of long lasting moves too. So F tilt, like even F smash, is really good at covering like neutral getup and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, it's quite nice. It's also good at two framing. Yeah, you can tell uh, Dusk's really gotten back into his groove against the Sora here. Yep. Oh, yeah, as I was saying before, like, you can definitely get the feeling that you win. With a even if you win with the character, you feel like that wasn't a good enough win, yeah. a consistent enough win, and you feel like the character might be a bit of a one-trick pony, so if the opponent figures it out, they're done, so you just switch back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, after we're gonna seal things out, and now plan potentially on the last stock of this match. Oh Ooh. my goodness, that F-Smash was charged up so Dude. hard. I didn't think that get up attack would hit. I thought Sean was dead there. But really good knowing his get up attack distance there. Yeah. I know Sean thinks about the game very like for lack of a better word, I guess mathematically, really great edge guard. Yeah. Like he likes to make spreadsheets about what to do about his opponent's habits after oh, studying yeah. them. And like what he can do as V2 against yeah. what option. And that's definitely helping him out with the Sora, but he probably wasn't expecting the plant pick and kind of messed him up. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, oh, Shadow Ball, I think he might have been holding out on that one. Yeah. And um, I mean, yeah, that's gonna light. seal it out. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I think he's. Killed. I think it's just lighter than Two Link. Uh, sorry, it's just lighter than Young Link. Uh, yeah, I definitely think it was holding out. Like, 87% on Kalos does not seem like yeah. uh, kill quite, percent. And wasn't quite close enough to get the Blizzard. Well, good stuff to Dust. Good stuff to Plant. Yeah, it's gonna put uh, Dusk in a really solid spot, pretty much guaranteed uh, top 16. So, yeah, we'll just have to see how the, the puck holds lies.
very impressive 5-2 and very impressive 4-3 for Plamp in his first season. Yeah, I mean, especially like inheriting Plamp's like buck and everything, especially after like, you know, the amount of upsets he made over the season, really, really good for Dusk and also good for Plamp. Mm.